I just came back from New York from a quarantined New York. And uh, I, I wouldn't say that is the peak <clears throat> of my last in the world photo project trip. But I just wanted to bring you back to the beginning from why I started uh, this trip in the first place. So um, it was nine, the 9th of January when I actually uh, went to travel to Hong Kong, mind you not, but the coronavirus wasn't then an issue at all because back then um the it was actually still a bit scary because there were the protests going on uh, for, um, with the hong kong students so that was a problem back then and i actually was going to um sydney where the bushfires were like going on like for a long time and then i didn't know what to expect and i was a little bit worried to visit there and uh, do a uh, uh, and to see what I would uh, encounter. But uh, eventually it, uh, it went good. I went to Hong Kong, went to Sydney and I had a hell of a trip. I think about 29 hours or something. It was uh, really long uh, and I had a major jet lag. Uh, maybe just as bad as I have right now. But um, it was the first time since a long time that I had such a long trip. But I really like city and when I traveled there and I arrived there for the first time. Uh, I was uh, paying attention, of course, to the news of the bushfires. But uh, what I, what I, I couldn't see anything, but I could smell it a little bit. It, it was it was smelling like uh, some the neighbors were barbecuing or something. But then, in a larger scale, in a big city like Sydney. So that's why, um, yeah, that's what I I encountered. And I wanted to bring you. To my uh, to the beginning of this uh, project, uh, I have uh, um, polar steps with my uh, phone. It's an app where I take pictures during my trip, but it also uh, uh, knows where I took the pictures and they put it on the website on the map. And eventually, they made a, like a digital book out of it, and I can flip through the book and I can order it. But I can also show you by this screen over here let me try this so share screen desktop share here we go and i think i'm at the corner here cool yeah it's awesome so here's the cover 2020 in the world photo project it's um it's a nice cover of a lady i i took pictures of in uh, magnetic, magnetic island her name is <clears throat> Uh, what was her name again? I think I met like 50 Indos in total. She was one of the first. Steph. Stephanie, I think. I hope I'm not wrong. But anyway, in a world photo project, here is the beginning. So I've been to the Netherlands, Australia, New Zealand, United States, Canada, Curaçao, Bonaire. And since Ostasius and Saba, well, I think uh, they mean like the, the Dutch Antilles, um, 60,000 kilometers. And I've started over here, if you can see here. Uh, so first of all, I went to Sydney. That was a long strip. And the, the reason why I did that is because I could, you could, I could back then in December, I could chose for which season I wanted to begin. Did I want to, start in a warm season or in a colder season and um, it made sense to me to choose for a warm season first go to the colder season then to uh, a warm season again because i went to bonaire that's warm so uh, i could also do probably the other way around but i don't know maybe it's because of i've been to indonesia a lot of times i and one time to new york but it made, I don't know, it made sense to me to begin in Sydney first, why not? And then make the leap over to America from Auckland to here, Auckland, New Zealand to Los Angeles. I took with my mobile phone, so 384 photos um, only. And uh, let's see, 60 cities probably, or steps in cities in exactly 75 days. So my 
I counted that well. Furthest point from home, Hamilton City. So Hamilton City, from Gouda to Hamilton City is 18,000 kilometers to this place over here. That's funny. Some nice statistics to share. So here's Schiphol, Netherlands. I uh, was very uh, excited to go, as you can see, already uh, packed and no masks at all. And um, here I went to Australia and Sydney. Mascot is a region in uh, Sydney. I wrote a blog post where it rained probably for 25 degrees, with 25 degrees on the 11th of January. I was leaving at the 9th. So here was my first Airbnb address. This was a large mirror over there. It was a bit weird um, because there were students living there and they were not very welcoming like a hotel did. Like, you know, I didn't do, didn't do that much uh, Airbnb, but it was not a super host. Um, and I was also not certain of the area where it was because it was a little bit deserted, but um, I guess it's normal. And the weather back then was like normal, like gray weather, not very warm. Um, but it was also a little bit uh, foggy because of the bush fires, but uh, maybe I could have imagined that. Uh, I like this picture, of course, because of the trees, which I haven't seen for a long time, 26 degrees. And then I blocked some more. Let's see, and here is just a shot I took from the city, walking through the city to discover the city a little bit. And I went to the Sydney Hall, I think it's named, I don't even know the name, the uh, theater. And uh, let's see, yeah, it was nice. I took this picture with a tripod. I had a free day actually. And the moment before this picture, I saw some cockatoos, which I also put on the Instagram. And maybe you have seen that. And they are flying around right there. And they're really like the loudest birds I've ever heard like flew in through the city they are louder than crows so it's it's amazing to see them like those tropical birds in the city and that they actually survived the bushfires because many like billion more over a billion animals died when I came there uh, from the, with the bushfires so here are some Pictures in the city, of course, I like to take pictures of artwork. Here's a panoramic shot, which I took with, uh, with the phone as well. Um, here, here I already had my first, I have, this was the day I've done my uh, appointment with one of the Indos. And he's also, I think, on the next page here, because he set me off on this, at this place, at the, at the place where you were, you could see the sea and also the harbor from here. It was a very nice uh, sightseeing uh, place. And this is probably the next day where I met a Indonesian Chinese descendant uh, friend of mine. I know her through friends which I met in Utrecht. And uh, this was uh, like 10 years later maybe. So I met her uh, and her children. <coughs> in Mascot, it's uh, the area where I stay uh, at the Airbnb place. He's right, I'm blogging. And this is the second uh, Indo, she's, she doesn't speak Dutch, um, but she's really Indo. She, uh, she let me see those pictures of her family and her father who, uh, who was serving the Dutch uh, knil, um, like three generations uh, before her. So she's actually third generation, if I remember. And it was there was a really nice meeting because I met, it was the first time I actually met a foreign Dutch Indo. Well, she's not Dutch, but she's Indo and uh, she's European uh, descendant. So it was um, really special to have that connection with her in her house. And I had met her maybe for an hour or so, maybe I think so, one hour or a half, doing interview, doing the pictures. Um, yeah, maybe I should uh, put her interview uh, online uh, next week or something or maybe this week so there was a really nice meeting and uh, this was the first time meeting her uh, in Australia at the east side this was not because, because after that 
I would have gone to the airport because this is the first morning because she she uh, Leah did not know that I paid for her drinks right and um, but the personnel didn't know that that I paid for her so she got charged again um, so maybe if you look at this then um, yeah it's funny because uh, this was the next morning and she was remembering me and she was like hey you paid right, right for the other so you get some money cash back so i got i got some cash back from them some dollars and i must say that the dollar in australia is very cheap so everything is like 40 percent discount um very good to be there and i wanted to go back uh, i already know i want to go back to sydney so uh, yeah and after that i went to brisbane so this was Brisbane. This is uh, at my uh, cousin's place, and she was actually in Indonesia uh, uh, at that moment. So her husband, who is actually Moluccan, and also has Dutch uh, descendants, um, he lived there. He doesn't speak Dutch, and his English is so and so. But uh, it was funny because he taught me a word like, well, if you say like <coughs> noise, you see, in Australia you, you say like noise. You, he taught me that and I thought that was funny and this was the room I was sleeping in I'm very thankful that I could stay here because every place I could stay somewhere saved me a lot of money so this was like see in well maybe I should save this for the next time this is uh, I'm going here to Brisbane visiting the next Indo I'm going to tell more about that part in the next episode so thank you for watching i hope you uh, enjoy this uh, content and um, if you have any questions if you have any topics for me to talk about uh, please let me know in the comments uh, what do you want to know about the 75 day trip uh, which i uh, did and i will tell you all about it or maybe there are some topics that are actual or maybe uh, some specific things about the inner culture there which i can share with you Please let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next episode. So what I also want you to know is that you, if you mm, subscribe on the website of Muso Window, so I'm not referring now to the crowdfunding, but because that one's still going on. So if you want, you can order not this book, but the book about Indos, um, the travel in the book or the Indos about uh, Rambo Jagun, you can still order it for 27. Uh, euro um, there's a crowdfunding that on the uh, whose window page whose window.nl but if you uh, are, um, uh, don't want to or anything then you can also subscribe and then you can you get three emails about how this all started and it's very interesting because I made this uh, interview series while I was away so then you get to know me better and also to know the website better and what is it, it how it all started and what it's about so um yeah again thank you for watching and i see you next time